What happens if you combine a snail, a hermit crab, and a gelatinous cube? You get a globerog. Hello and welcome back to DDSL. Today I'm going to show you how I made a globorog. To make this monstrous crab snail thing, it's going to need some milliparts, green stuff, a base, and a little bit of foil for aperture, and any kind of random stuff from your bits box. I started by making the base. For this creature, I wanted something a bit different from my regular plain bases. So I cut up some cardboard to act as like flagstones and glued them onto my base and gave it a nice coat of Mod Podge. Once the Mod Podge is dry, just give it your favourite base of grey and simple dry brush and wash. And with the base where you want it, it's now time to make the Globorog itself. In Earth Dawn, a Globorog is a large and very slimy and sticky snail that's about the size of a cow. This sticky slime acts as both defense mechanism and digestive system. Anything the Globorog can eat like most creatures and name givers, is slowly broken down and digested. Anything else gets incorporated into its shell. Over time, these shells can grow very large and become quite thick and strong, giving the Globorog quite a lot of protection. Once I was happy with the body and the eye stalks, it was time to make the shell. For this I just used random stuff from my bits box, some old pieces, old weapons that had broken. I attached these to the body using super glue and green stuff where necessary. The eye stalks ended up needing the same baking soda and super glue trick that I used on the flump. Once everything had cured and set, I primed it with a Vallejo Grey Primer. Based on some photo references of actual snails, I tried some greys and browns, but I wasn't happy with the result. After a little trial and error, I settled on a combination of Death Guard Green, Skarsnick Green and Moot Green with some white mixed in for highlights. I painted the debris on the Globorog's shell, a variety of browns, brasses and bone. I painted the, one of the shields on the side, a blue, just to give it a little bit of variety. I gave the debris in the shell a wash with Agrex Earthshade, trying very carefully not to overdo it, and making sure to wipe away any excess. 
end with a few finishing touches to the eyes and the base, my Globarock was done. And there you have it, one Globarock, a nasty little death snail, ready to give your players a hard time. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know D&D is by far the most popular RPG and 5th edition in particular is probably one of the best for introducing new people to role playing games. But I feel that other systems like Earth Dawn and Eclipse Phase should receive some more love and attention. I particularly like the world building in Earth Dawn and I'd be very happy to try some more crafting related to it in the future. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear what you what you think. Um, thank you very much for watching again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.